Hello everyone, Adam's Gamer back again here. It's time with an episode of Southampton Career Mode. So, um, it's time we're up against Aston Villa in the Premier League. So, um, look at this in paper. It looks like an easy match, but you never know. So, let's hope we'll win and get three points and keep competing for the league title. Because, as I said at the start of this uh, journey, I said that we want to get uh, Champions League. No more, really. So that means I really wouldn't mind finishing fourth, or well, yeah, fourth, but uh, I wouldn't take anywhere else. So, as you can see, we're playing in the snow, which is a difficult, difficult surface to play on, but uh, you have to play on it anyway. So, let's go. Um, transfer news, Sadio Mane, the right mid here that's on the ball, has just moved to Liverpool for uh, 30 to 36 million pounds. Um, uh, I think that's a good move for Liverpool, but uh, slightly a bit overpriced. But you know, you really don't know until the final figures, uh, or you don't really don't know until he's uh, developed really. Because you know, if you have a look at Raheem Sterling, um, Liverpool sold him for 50, 50 million, and he's turned out to be a flop so far for Man City and for England in the Euro. So um, I reckon if England had a better right mid on or a better player on, like you know, I reckon if Lallana started every match, I reckon. They would have been a bit. They would, they would, I reckon actually would have qualified, in my opinion. But they didn't play everybody. So, um, like in my opinion, I don't think Joe Hart should have been on the pit the field because uh, he made two awful errors for England. So he did. In the oh, Shane Long gets in. Brilliant save by Mark Bond on the line. Victor Wanyama, who also doesn't play for or thing anymore. Uh, Southampton. He's now moved to. Uh, Aston Villa, or not Aston Villa, he's now moved to, uh, what do you call them, Tottenham, so, for 11 million I think, that's a great save by Fraser Forster, absolutely fantastic, yes he's moved to, uh, Tottenham for 11 to 12 million, so, uh, I think he'll be a brilliant player at them, powerhouse, fantastic player, um, uh, I don't think he'll, I think he'll certainly show why he's worth 11, 12 million, He's a fantastic player at Celtic as well, so he was. So, um, so I really do think he will be a good player when he does uh, eventually uh, get better. Or he does eventually grow and maintain his uh, targets. Here's Cedric. Gives it to Dujan Tadic. Gives it to Classy. Classy just can't quite take take the touch. And here goes another counter attack from Aston Villa. That's what they look like they're going to do all game here. They look like they're going to sit back and defend for majority. Oh, awful miscommunication there from Jose Font and Cedric Suarez. And it gets uh, thing possession back. Aston Villa possession back. But Cedric comes back and does his fair share of defending and gives it to Yoshida, to Bertrand, to Jusan Tadic, to Victor Wanyama. Now the Tottenham man, out the Sadio Mane, now the, now the Liverpool man. Let's get him down towards Jusan Tadic, and he stole the ball off Lescott, still Jusan Tadic, can he finish? It's Jusan Tadic, good save by Mark Bond, now here's Victor Wanyama, pressure keeps going, and to, thought that was a foul on uh, Victor Wanyama getting in the box there, but clearly went down too easily according to the referee's eyes. So here is Michael Richards on the ball, gives it to, um, is that Lescott is it? Gives them a bit. Up to uh, Jordan. Are you good defending again this time by Jose Font? Covering. Gives it to Mane. Now to Classic. To Victor Munyama. Out to uh, Jay Rodriguez. Jay Rodriguez. He's been. You haven't really heard much of him lately now because of his injuries. And if, when he was. Thing, like, when he was. Brilliant play on brilliant. It's anyway, here's Jerry Rodriguez. He's just scored. What a brilliant perform what a brilliant goal from Jerry Rodriguez actually. Fantastic play. I think I've put all over I think I've put all over Aston Villa the majority of the game anyway. But it was a great goal and um let me continue on uh Jerry Rodriguez's performances in the last couple of years. I think Jerry Rodriguez he's a good player. I think he is a uh, I think that the only problem with him is because of his injuries. So oh here comes a chance for Aston Villa. Straight reply. Full oh, hits the post, and I think that uh, he went down to. I think he went down too easily there. So I think that is it. I think he 
deserved the yellow card there for diving. But now here comes a counter attack from Southampton. Sadio Mane tries to give it to Shane Long. Shane Long makes the most of the pass. Still Shane Long. It's clearly the half time whistle is going to go in the next couple of minutes. Here's Victor Wanyama. Out to Jeremy Rodriguez, the goal scorer. Gives it to Ram Bertrand. He always seems to give a good cross down. Here's towards Susan Tadic. Good defending. Just to enter. Ram Bertrand trying to play the back again. It's cleared away. And that is the half time whistle. And the score is 1 0 to Southampton. Well deserved from the, uh, the Saints. And I think they played well all game. Um, let me just finish on Jeremy Rodriguez there. I think he's been a brilliant player. Um, Tottenham bid at 25 million for him back there. In I think it was two, three years ago. He was playing absolutely out of his skin, so he was for Southampton, and then unfortunately he had an awful injury. I think it was his ACL. Good injury, which is your anterior cruciate ligament. So that's that's a very, very bad injury, so it is. I think that's one of the worst injuries you can possibly get in the game of football. So I think that was a really bad injury for Jay Rodriguez to um, obtain. So um, it was pretty hard luck to the man, because, you know, if he could have moved the Jay, or if he could have moved the. Uh, if he could have moved the. Uh, Tottenham we could be, could be playing Champions League next year because look at Tottenham for a second in the league so so that's me finished on the Jay Rodriguez um, talk about him but he really is he's a good player um, but I'm just unfortunately he had an awful injury there so um, let's just look at the second half so, our Aston Villa come out of the blocks pretty fast trying to get straight into the uh, Southampton defence but it's good defending by Ryan Bertrand here's the Rodriguez, the Bertrand again, classic, with the Jusan Tadic doing his cover and back, here's Cedric, tries to get past, uh, I don't know, or Ghana, uh, what do you call him, the Dries of Gassama Gay, yeah, yep, yeah, he tries to get past Gay, but unfortunately can't do it, and Gay wipes him out, and he receives the yellow car, and now here, off a pass there from Sadio Mane, and, Jordan Ayew tries to get it and tries to run with it. Not the fastest player in the world, but will show strength and get past him. Gives a dead ball to Hor, but this time Sadio Mane comes back and does his first shot defending. Now here's Fraser Forster. Uh, gives it to Cedric. Cedric goes round. Uh, Karen Richardson, as if he wasn't there. Gives it to Dijon Tadic. Out to Shane Long. Fires one in. Can't really see the ball, but anyway, here's Classy to Cedric. Cedric to Ram Bertrand always delivers a good cross, not that not good that time. But now here's Ram Bertrand to Shane Long. Shane Long turns, Shane Long goes for goal, and what an absolute finish from the Irish man who's been on fire in the Euros at the moment. And what an absolute finish from the man. Uh, that was a brilliant finish from Shane Long, and the score is now doubled and it was well deserved from the Saints. and and really, you can see why Aston Villa are bottom of the league in this in this in this career mode. But uh, really bad defending again there from Southampton. I thought they really could on or not Southampton. I really think they could on better there the Aston Villa defence because they were just all bulging together and just trying to block a shot. But unfortunately, Shane Long hit, hit it too hit it too much power on it and just blasted it too far past uh, Mark Bunn's reach, and that doubles the score for Southampton and. My opinion secures the three points for this game. Here's Jay Rodriguez bolting down the wing, tries to get past Michael Richards. Good, good, sh good strength there from Michael Richards. F Font tries to win it. Her Font Yoshida tries to win it, and that's a counter attack from Aston Villa. And Gabby Bonner gives that IU and IU brilliant defending. And it's this time it's shot, and it was a free open net for a thing to finish. And it was a block by uh, Jose Font, which I didn't think was on, but clearly he is. For Joe Van Dijk, must be the one who's injured. And you can see Julian Baumgartlinger is coming on now for uh, Aston Villa. Uh, in my opinion, he's a fantastic player. I, have, I had him in uh, Ultimate Team a couple of weeks ago when I was doing an episode in the Ultimate Team. He's a brilliant player. He's a powerhouse. He's an absolute bargain as well. Probably a bargain in career mode too. Very young talent. I was, I was there, like, you know, I was there to help out the defence and they're in struggling situations. I really don't know why he wasn't done from the start because he's a bit like a Victor Wanyama sort of player, you know. Cause he's strong and shows his strength the majority of the time. Here's Victor Wanyama trying to get back. A bit, bit lethargic now, so he is. Crossed in towards Michael Richards. Headed down. Baumgartlinger goes for goal. It's a good block by the Southampton defence. And now here's Shane Long goes on a counter-attack for uh, Southampton. Uh, here's Jusan uh, Tadic. Tadic, all Jusan Tadic had to do there was just play a simple pass into the defence and... That would have been three, I think. Now here is Victor Wanyama, brilliant defending from the strong powerhouse in the Southampton defence. 
gives up the shit long. Shit long. Gives uh Jerry Rodriguez no gold, but unfortunately he's offside and eighty five minutes in here and I think the three points are well and truly ours and I and I don't think there is any way back now for the uh Aston Villa men and I think this is a very strong performance from the teams today and really did enjoy the video myself and I hope you enjoyed it too. Here's anyway, here's uh, a ball hard towards Gain. Michael Richards heads it in and eighty eight minutes in and Michael Richards has scored and this match is not over yet. <sighs> is there gonna be a late twist to the tail? Here's Wanyama, classy, Wanyama, Font, to Cedric, the Mane, back to set classy. Good pressure now from the Aston Villa team ever since Bum Gartlinger's come on, they seem to be enough they seem to be a different side. Cedric to classy. To Victor Wanyama, just trying to keep the ball now. And that's it. The referee blows it up. Um uh, it looks like a pretty tough game out there, but I think it was an easy enough game for the Saints, but um I think it was a very um easy game. It says we only have we only had one shot that game and we won two one. And I don't know how it says we only had one shot if we scored two goals. I don't understand that. Uh we did really well that game. I thought we played out of our heart, played it thought absolutely brilliant. If you enjoyed the video, as you can see Cedric got man in the match with a player. I thought he played brilliantly on the wing. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, all you do is simply like, comment and subscribe. And until the next career match, I'll see you later.